Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Android Studio Ladybug on 2024 on Windows 11 operating system. But the process is same on all Windows operating systems. First go to Android official website that is developer.android.com or simply in Google search for Android Studio. Hit enter, then scroll down, then click on download Android Studio and app tools. See, we got to the same link. Now, see here we have the latest version is Android Studio Ladybug. So, click on it to download. We have to accept the license terms. See here 2024.2.1 patch 1. Okay. So, scroll down, select it that I have read and agree with the about terms and conditions. Then click on download Android Studio Ladybug. Click on it. See download started. Go to download. See its a size is 1.1 gigabytes. I'm cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. See here Android Studio 2024.2.10 Windows.exe file. So once download is completed, then click on this exe file or go to downloads. Then right click and select run as administrator. Click on next. See here. By default, it has selected Android Studio. It is grayed out. We can't uncheck. And the option is Android Virtual Device. So we can use Android Virtual Device or we can use your mobile or Android device. That means physical device. So I want to use Android Virtual Device. If you want to use Android Virtual Device, you need more space. It is up to you. Okay. Click on next. See, this will be the installation location. If you want to change, you have to click on browse and select the path. Okay. So click on next and this will be the name in the start menu folder. Okay. I'm okay with that one. So click on install. See installation has been started. See installation completed, click on next. Now select the checkbox that is start Android Studio and click on finish. Now see we have to select next. See here we have the two types of setups standard and custom. Android, for a standard Android will be installed with most common settings and options recommended for most users. So you can customize the installation. So select customize. Then click on next. See, it is going to download 2.1 gigabytes because I have selected virtual device. If you don't want, see, download size will be decreased. So it is up to you. But you have to select this Android SDK. I want to install Android virtual device also. It is up to you. If you want to check the application on your mobile, no need to install virtual device. If you want to test on virtual device, you have to select this. Android virtual device then click on next and this will be the Android SDK location if you want to change you have to click on this browse button and you, you can change I'm okay with the default location then click on next now click on next to start the download see these are it is going to download these applications so click on finish see started downloading wait until download completes this may take time See installation has been completed. Click on finish. See now click on new project. Select empty activity. Then click on next. 
see this is the name of the application so i am giving after schools tutorials okay this will be the package name and this is the location of the this project and minimum supported sdk is api 24 and android 7.0 if you select this 7.0 this application will run on approximately 97.4 percentile of devices if you select 25 or 7.1 see percentage is decreasing if you select it see now it is still decreased okay build configuration language see here we have the two languages kotlin and groovy and recommended is kotlin select kotlin and click on finish wait it is generating the sources wait until this importing gradle project completes see it is importing these two projects import completed see this is the virtual device let us maximize see it is going to print this text here dollar name is the on right okay so let us compile it just click on run app see it is building then select allow access now it is connecting to emulator see it will connect to this medium for api see we got the output whatever here it is there suppose if you want to you custom output welcome to arc to schools instead of i'll give the name and here change arc to schools then save the file now run again see output is changed okay so this is the way to run the application in virtual device if you want to run the application on your mobile or any physical device you have to connect device through usb to your laptop and once you connected you will find the device name sometimes you need to enable the developer option on your mobiles okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install android studio ladybug 2024.2 on windows 10 or 11 operating system okay for more android or java tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you